Hi guys, welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. Welcome to paint session two with my apron. Last uh, video brand new. You're gonna see the progression where it's gonna get really covered and like crunchy and unusable really soon. So my last video, I mixed up a bunch of colors and we really dove into how to get the perfect consistency for the bloom. And I mixed a color combo and I didn't get to use it. So I figured I'd use it this time and I am going to do another little experiment. Way back in video number 90, I show you how to mix your TLP pigments into a cell activator. Um, and I wanted to try something new there because there's a few ways to do it and I haven't done it this way and no one has done it this way. So I'm making it up and maybe it'll be easier for you to do. But in, the, in my original video, the way we mix pigments is to disperse them in some Australian Floetrol and use half matte gel and half gloss gel. And the reason we use half and half is because technically if you use all gloss gel, the cells um, and lacing don't hold as much because you have gloss in your pouring medium. I've used all gloss gel, it's okay. I mean, if you're very picky, you might not, not wanna use it. Um, the reason you don't use all matte gel is because it dulls the sparkle of the pigments. However, my idea is to mix, where did it go? Oh, here, a cell activator with only Australian Floetrol and my matte gel, okay? There's no color in here because you can actually use Australian Floetrol on its own without adding a color. It is just kind of thin. So what I've done to thicken it up is I've added my matte gel, okay? Now a lot of you, it does look a little thick. I might maybe thin it out. A lot of you ask, does it matter if it's ultra heavy, heavy, whatever? This one's ultra. Um, heavy is fine. You just have to add more to it or like depending what you want. So this, so I've mixed, I've used it like a paint, about th three to one I didn't measure, and I'm trying to make it look like a cell activator. It's a little thick for me, so let me just add a bit more. So my idea, by the way, is to do a bloom and to top it with a pigment, which we always say don't do, under your cell activator, because the pigment cannot hold the tube paint and Australian Floetrol, the tube paint kind of like leeches into the pigment. However, if there is no tube paint to leach, it will just be the sparkly on the top. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Am I a genius? No, but it could be fun. So let's go down. Oh, let's talk about colors. Very quickly, I have a crazy color combo. I saw it in my memories from last year. I don't know if it's gonna work again. Cinnamon. Uh, you know, lemon sorbet and funk. Two bees. We have golden paints gray, red violet, sky blue, and teal. So I'm gonna like do bloom. I'm gonna do my last color as the um, cinnamon and see how the cells turn out. Am I crazy? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So I'm using glidden. Essentials eggshell. And I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen. I was playing around with other things and then I just had this like light bulb moment. So I had to run and do this immediately. Do you ever have that when you like, you have an idea and you just have to do it and then most of the time it never works and you get <laughs> super disappointed. Let's hope that this is not one of those times. Okay, so how am I layering these crazy things? Hmm, I don't know. I'll just kind of go, it doesn't really matter. I just care about the top. We'll start with the teal. Um, lemon sorbet. Then we will do a little bit Payne's Gray. Do a little High blue. Um, oh, I've kind of left the two pinks for last, so I'm not really gonna use both of them. I'll use funk. And then I will do cinnamon and my clear cell activator. 
Oh my God, can you guys pray for me? You know what I mean? Like make this work, cause it would make, it would be less work for a lot of people if this worked, okay? I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna do like that, like it's a cell activator, okay? Then I'm going to do this, like this is a cell activator, right? Okay, ready? Just a warning, it blows out very differently than a cell activator with the two paint in it. It's really milky. Just breaking up the middle a little bit. Okay, there's some cool spots. takes a little more work to break it up but once you do you'll get like really big cells I'm gonna keep breaking I really need to get a straw in this place although I do hate straws so just for blooms um, but I'll keep blowing away a little bit I don't want to blow too much but I'm kind of bored maybe I'll but you see here is good. I mean, it definitely doesn't look like cell activator, but I wonder, uh, like, um, cinnamon cell activator, but I wonder if it's going to get as like wonky as it normally would. You know what? Maybe I have to blow harder, you know, to really see because this is too much, um, too much. Okay, you know what? Let me just spit it out so we can see this and then we will make our decision. I will probably redo and blow a little harder. You can see in some spots where it definitely just picked up the um, pigment and we will have to wait to see how it dries. I should really wipe this paint off because we're clean, you know what I mean? Yeah, like kind of boring. Well, it kind of looks cell activator-y there. It's not like perfect, like if it's all one cell activator color, but I think if I tweak it, it could work. Definitely want to put more color. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, you know what? I don't like this, so I'm gonna redo it. And the changes I'm going to make are, let's, let me just look. Um, like, it's not horrible. Do you know what we're gonna do? All right. If I make the cell activator thinner, and if I make my pigment thinner, they might merge together as one. Let's do that. I'm gonna take off these gloves and we'll see what this does. But, because when you have two thick, thick things, they're not going to merge as much as two thin things. So I'm, this is my cell activator. Yes, we're gonna thin her. Now let's look at the cinnamon. We want them to become friends and lovers, you know? So this consistency is, is nice for a bloom, but we are gonna thin her so she can have relations <laughs> with the cell activator. We want them to relate, okay? Yes, that's more relatable right there. Now I'm just gonna add another shot of the flow. Maybe a bigger shot, all right? And we're gonna redo. I'm also gonna put more paint down and we're gonna see if they can relate to each other. Let's see. Still thick, you know, I did get like really excited with my heavy gel. Um, I'm gonna thin it down. And when you have ideas, sometimes this is what you gotta do. 
to do, you know? Like, I don't always present, maybe I should, I don't always present to you like the perfect final product, but my kind of experiments of how I get to ideas, you know what I mean? Okay, that's better, it's still kind of thick, but I will use it anyways. Okay, let me get more gloveys, so clean. works instead of I mean is it gonna work not really is it whatever let's be positive okay all right so I'm just gonna put a little bit more um, pillow down I don't really care you know I'm not gonna put too much because she's gonna spin out okay now let's do this again shall we my paints have thickened up a little bit and that's also a problemo, but this is just experiment time, so we don't, we're not expecting any like miracles, right? Okay, we have that. And this time I'm gonna put the pink, I'm gonna separate the pinks. We have that. We have whoop, that. We have that. We have this. Okay. Now remember, I also have to figure out a, a better blow. I wanna get the middle first because it doesn't have, oh, sneakers. It doesn't have the resistance that a heavier tube paint would. You know what I mean? All right. Come on, sexy cinnamon. <laughs> Get your flow on. Okay. All right. Let's see if sexy cinnamon did it. All right. Oop, that was too much. No worries. So your aim definitely has to be on point for this one. Look at these cute little cells though. Ooh. Okay, I'm much happier with this one. Uh, look at these, you know, sexy cinnamon. Worked her magic. Yeah, really cute. Sorry, phone died, <laughs> but don't worry. We are spinning Sexy Cinnamon out and we will see cute, hello ladies, whatever you are, you're cute. Hello over there, you're cute, you're cute. You're all cute. And I hate that I have to keep spinning you because you're cute. Oh, wait, I wanna make sure you can see. There you go. So cute. Yes. Sexy Cinnamon, working her magic. All right, I'm gonna keep spinning this, show you the final product. Thank you guys. Let me know what you think of Sexy Cinnamon. Are you going to try this new cell activator recipe? Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye.